Aloha, baby. We're making Hawaiian poke today. So I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. P-O-K-E. Poke. Poke. Poke, like as in hokey poke. You don't say hokey poke. By the way, she forced me to wear the shirt. So I got her like this amazing shirt and she finally dressed up with me. It was the best thing ever. I love that shirt on her. Pure polyester. I'm sweating. She can thank me later. Poke in Hawaiian means to slice or cut. So first I'll lay Lisa. Oh. Oh. And now she's this gonna is teach a, us. This is a great cooking outfit. She's gonna teach us how to make Hawaiian poke. So you are gonna start with sushi grade tuna. We got a pound of it and we've cut it into small cubes. So put the tuna in here. We have a fourth of a cup of soy sauce to can, that. Can you use a different kind of fish if you don't like tuna? Could you use salmon? You could use salmon, you could use octopus. <laughs> we have a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. We're gonna add to that one teaspoon of rice vinegar one teaspoon of wasabi paste, and half a teaspoon of sesame oil. So just mix that up. We're gonna pour the soy mixture over the tuna, and that's gonna sit together for only about five minutes. You just want it to marinate. While that's marinating, we're gonna make a little bit of a spicy sauce to go on top. So we have a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise and one teaspoon of sriracha sauce. And what we're gonna do as a little quick tip is we're gonna put the spicy mayonnaise into a baggie. And when we're ready to squeeze it, we're just gonna cut a small hole and then squeeze it on top. Amazing. We're ready to assemble. We have our bowl of rice. Can you use tortilla chips if you don't want rice? Definitely. You could put this whole mixture right on as an appetizer, so you just put a small amount on each tortilla. It would be a great way to serve it. So we're gonna lay the tuna on top of the rice, and then you can add any toppings you like, but today we have picked some toasted seaweed, avocado, and pickled ginger. And our spicy sauce, but macadamia nuts would be good too. That would be so good. So we've cut the corner, and we just drizzle it over top pickled ginger and some toasted seaweed. And your bowl is ready to go. If you like what you see, aloha baby. Press like, right? Press like and subscribe to our channel.